Not so long ago, at a toy store not too far away, right down the road actually, a great action figure was found. So yeah, I actually found three figures recently and I was recording the video for Clone Commander Cody and realized I forgot to do an intro video. So um, this one is already going to be unboxed on the channel by the time we get to this one. And so in this video, we're going to take a look at Dark Side Vision Ray. And if you can't see that good, I'll, when I get over to the table before I open it up, I'll show you the packaging for sure. And so, um, like I said, I think this figure is only one per case. So when I saw that, I was like, man, I got to get that and I open it on the channel. So before we get over there at the toy table and look at Dark Side Ray, uh, if you'll do me a favor and go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video, like it, leave any comments below. I really would appreciate it. And then right after you do that, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel because then you can see all this cool content as I create it. And then if you want to be notified when I post these videos, hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know. And you can come over and check out Clone Commander Cody, Ray, and then what's going to be last will be Jar Jar Binks. So I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me. So let's get over to the table and open up Dark Side Ray. Let's go. So what's up YouTube, it's Jeffman316, your Pop Culture Reporter. Like I said, um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the next figure and in in the Star Wars figure that I'm opening up and unboxing and giving a little review of. Um, if you haven't already, check out the unboxing I did of Clone Commander Cody. That video should be up. And in this video, we're going to open um, the Dark Side Vision Ray. So here's the packaging. Let me go ahead and get Cody out of the way so I won't focus on him and focus on her. So it's got the normal Black Series packaging. There's her. I'm really interested to see that uh, lightsaber in person. Um, there's Ray. There's the front of the package. And then here's the artwork on the side. And I'm really digging this artwork on the side. That looks really cool. Now, I've heard a couple people complain that if the, this had been the expression they used on her face, on the figure, that it would be better. And it, it's not as close. It looks a little, it's kind of, they try, but we'll look at that when we open it up. And here's the back of the packaging. And it says, while searching for the Sith Wayfinder, Ray envisions her turn to the dark side, wielding a double-bladed lightsaber. Her rage and immense power is frightening. Sorry about that. If you heard that, that's my Alexa. So let's go ahead and crack open Ray together. I got to be really careful with this lightsaber. It feels real fragile. So with that being said, let's look at that first. So here's the lightsaber. Um, it bends in the middle. It's got like a hinge on it. See, and you can bring it out like that. That's pretty neat. I like that. Got a lot of detail on the handle. So here's the Ray figure. Now, the one thing that I know I don't like about this figure looking at it in the package, they got soft goods on here and they got a really nice cape. With that being said, why didn't they give you a cape on around her head that was cloth? Why is it this molded plastic? And I don't even know if you can take it off. It would be really nice if it was can maybe had a piece of cloth with a wire around it and then you could move it back and forth on and off her head. Um, the other thing I'm noticing is, look, why is her arm from the elbow down the same size as from her shoulder down to her elbow? This figure, the arm is like, she has no muscle tone whatsoever. Her arms look extremely small. Um, it kind of makes the figure look out of whack a little bit. I guess maybe if you cover it up a little bit with the cape, it'll help. Um, this part is hard, is, is soft plastic. Um, I wonder if you can, Mike, can take that off if you ever wanted to. Um, it's kind of cool that, you know, it's got a lot of detail on the pants. Um, as you can see, got a lot of 
detail on there I guess um, is it a wrap I'm not sure what kind of cloth that's supposed to be it's like that all the way around um, but this seems really weird why part of it is plastic and part of it is cloth but with that being said let's go ahead and see if we can get the lightsaber in her hand her hand has got a really small cup you know opening in it so it's hard a little hard to do but there you go so that's the figure with the lightsaber in its hand that'll be a really nice display piece no matter how you decide to display it i like that and then let's look for the, finally at that what i was telling you about the um her the head sculpt it's almost like she's not smiling but she doesn't have any emotion to her whatsoever it would have been nicer if they really gave her like um uh, the frown that you see on the side of the package like if those two matched it would be a lot better They tried but they just didn't get it. I don't think it's pretty close But I think it would have looked better and maybe made you know their her eyes a Little darker around them, you know the sockets of her eyes to make it look like she's Evil more but either way it's a nice figure um, and I know there's only one in the case So it's kind of hard to find so what do you guys think do you like this Ray figure? Um, do you think it's the best one from the set? Um, what do you think they should have done different? Leave any comments below. If you do me a favor and go ahead, um, after you leave the comments, if you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. When I open up more of these um, Star Wars figures, you can uh, come over and check out the videos with me. And then after you go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and uh, hit the notification bell because you'll be the first to know when I open up the next figure, which should be Jar Jar Binks. So I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate you watching this video. And this is Jeffman316, your pop culture reporter, signing out saying you guys be safe out there.